Welcome back, Sethling here. In yesterday's snapshot video for 13W1A, I talked about the hopper, the new hopper block, and how that might be used to automate brewing. So what I've done here is I've thrown together a prototype that will show you what steps you need to take in order to actually get that done. Uh, now this doesn't, this isn't a full, fully working unit. All that I would have to add is basically a one minute timer that would cause the cell to trigger. But I'll show you what the steps are that are involved and how you can go about designing a system of your own to do the same thing or something similar or something completely different. Uh, so let me show you what I'm talking about. First of all, we push this button here and we get a bunch of items dispensed. It's some water bottles, nether rack, sugar, and redstone. And these items are going to drop into the hopper here and they're going to basically fill into this brewing stand. And they'll fill in in a particular order. First the three water bottles and then the nether rack. Now, a brewing stand will always fill from a hopper in the same order. First the first water bottle slot, then the second water bottle slot, then the third one, and then the ingredient slot. So if, as, if this had been filled in a different order, the nether wart would be in the first slot or, the, or one of these water bottle slots, and, uh, and it wouldn't have brewed because there would be a water bottle in the ingredient slot. So the order is very particular here. And then we can see in the hopper, it pulled the sugar out because that was in the first slot, and then it'll pull the redstone out. Now if those were in reverse order, it also wouldn't have worked because the redstone wouldn't have worked with the awkward potion because we need that sugar here in order to brew the swiftness potion. So the, as you can see, the order is very important with this type of system. So we're going to have to account for the order and making sure that the items fill in in the right order. Now another part that's really important is uh, like I was talking about in the snapshot video, the hopper beneath the brewing stand, this is the hopper that's going to take the items out of the brewing stand, is full. It has all of its slot filled, and so that means it can't pull items out. If it could pull items out, it would start pulling out uh, items from the brewing stand in the same order that it gets filled. So first water bottle slot, second, third, and then an ingredient stand, or ingredient slot. So uh, if if this hopper had any empty slots, uh, we wouldn't have successful brewing. So uh, so the hopper is full and then what we've got here is we've got a, a storage minecart. Now this doesn't have any items in it. The goal of this storage minecart is to come over here for just long enough to take three items out of this hopper. What that's going to do is it's going to let these three potions of swiftness fill into this hopper uh, so that the hopper will remain full uh, and that'll get us ready for the next brewing. And so in order to accomplish that, we have a regular piston here and a sticky piston here. There's an 11 tick delay between the, the, the regular piston here and the sticky piston. So basically the storage my, or the storage minecart's going to sit here for about um, uh, 10 and a half ticks. And no, nine and a half ticks. Yeah. And, and then it'll get pushed off. And so that'll allow it to get three items from this hopper and then it's you know it comes to rest it's basically going to get pushed and and run over this track uh, and it'll get uh, it'll be over this hopper which is going to fill it into these chests uh, and it, it basically because there's two hoppers here it'll go to the bottom chest so that's exactly what we'll see here three items and then it goes right there those get filled into the chest down here and then down here i think that already happened it's very quick um, so let me go over those steps uh, with a little bit more detail to the redstone. When we push the button here, that triggers first. It triggers these uh, these three dispensers. Uh, these three dispensers each dispense water bottles, and then after four ticks, it triggers this dispenser over here, which has another word in it, plenty of another word, and then after another. Uh, I think 12 ticks after that, uh, this dispenser gets triggered, which which dispenses sugar, and that's going to go down there. And then another 8 ticks or so after that, something like that, uh, this one's going to get triggered. And so, and that'll drop the, the redstone. So all of this is set up so that there's delays uh, to get the items dispensed into this water stream in the same order. And... Uh, I'm sure this could be built more compactly than what I've done, but I just wanted something that works. And I'm, I'm sure you could get these delays down and and make everything work in a much smaller area. So you might be wondering, why am I using this water stream instead of just dispensing the items right up above this hopper and letting them fall in? And the answer 
can be seen right here. If I push this button, you can see it dispenses cobblestone, but the cobblestone is just sitting on top of the hopper. And that's because there's a little lip on the edge of the hopper, and the item can get stuck on that lip, and if it does, it's not going to fall in the hopper and, and get sucked up into the chest. So, and that's basically going to happen anytime you use a dispenser and artif artificially stop it. So, what I'm doing with this water stream is basically, uh, you know, when they get dispensed, they'll get dispensed up against this wall, and they'll flow down on, on this side of the, of the thing, and then they'll get pushed up against here. And when they do get to the edge here, they'll be just pushed inward a little bit by this diagonally flowing section of the stream, so that when they finally get to the lip here, uh, they'll be kind of in the middle, and they'll have a little bit of velocity going forward, so that they'll land inside the hopper in a way that's going to that's actually going to get them into the hopper. Uh, there are other ways to dispense items into a hopper. I could have used storage minecarts and had them run over the hopper or get pushed over the hopper by pistons, but this is what I chose to do. I think this is probably the easiest way. And so that's how we get them all in the right order. Now you might notice these chests above the water bottle hoppers. Sorry, but the, above the water bottle dispensers. It's because water bottles take up a lot of space, so you can have these chests store your reserve water bottles, and basically, you know, it'll take a lot longer to run out. You don't have to check on the machine as much and, and fill it up with water bottles. And since the dispenser's full and the hopper's full, it's not going to suck items out of the chest, so it'll just take items as needed from these chests. And uh, the, the way that I got these three chests next to each other is that the middle one is a trap chest. Although, actually, they wouldn't really need to be different chests. I could have done it with like a two wide chest here and then a, a trap chest here or something and the hoppers would have pulled it out of the chest. Anyway, uh, that's kind of inconsequential but but you can actually extend this upward as much as you want with more hoppers and chests and that's what kind of what I've done down here at the bottom is you know where the uh, the finished products get sucked out of out of this minecart here, storage minecart by this hopper and they basically just keep getting sucked down into lower and lower chests until the chests fill up and the hopper fills up and the chest fills up and so you can kind of extend this indefinitely and if I want if I find I don't have enough space, I'm, I'm brewing too many potions I can always just uh, just make more space down here go ahead and uh, you know put a new chest down and, and I can put a new hopper and that's going to transfer all the items down as much as, as they can, and, and the hoppers will basically shift to fill in uh, all the chests that you they put down below. So, really easy system for extending your storage automatically. And uh, So yeah, the, like I said, the only thing you would need in order to make this whole system work is a big timer. They basically said, alright, do, do this stuff, pu push this button, and then about 45 seconds to a minute later, uh, push this button and then repeat. Go back up here and do this one again. So, you know, that's easy to do. It just, you know, either need a lot of repeaters or some other mechanism like a cobweb minecart thing or something. But very open-ended. I didn't want to give a specific, uh, specific tutorial for, you know, block by block how to do this. I'm going to give the concepts how to do this because I think that's a lot more useful. So I uh, hope you learned something and thanks for watching.